Joey now, his lead up to 21 seconds. Over the bungalow bridge and on the way to the bungalow itself. Lee Pullen, number 21, takes his machine through Ramsey. Sixth place for him, but James Corky now ahead of Mark Baldwin. Well, Mark has had his win, perhaps it's affecting him a little bit now. He's in ninth position, and here's Joey, about to lap number 70, David Betridge. It won't be long before he passes him. And Gavin Lee is having a brilliant ride. Agos Leap and the follow-up. Ian Duffus comes down to the nuke and Gavin Lee is fast closing on him. Gavin Lee is now up to third position. James Courtney still holding on to second. Philip McCallan is in fourth place but only half a second down on Gavin Lee. But Joey's at the head of the field and that's where he wants to be, Lee in good style, into Ramsey for Joey Dunlop. The cheers already for Joey Dunlop, what a popular character he is. James Courtney, many years as junior, but a TT win for him in the not-too-distant future. Philip McAllen chases him. Peter Yarman from Switzerland, he gets the Dunlop treatment. Joey is in determined mood, 18 wins he wants, and it looks like he's going to get it today as they go into Bungalow Bridge. Number 16, Sean Harris. He's on the leaderboard in fifth place. And into Parliament Square. Number 12, James Courtney. And number 9, Philip McCallum. The cheers for Joey Dunlop. All around the course, they've been waving to him. And here he is, it's going to be win number 18 for Joey Dunlop across the line now. Another brilliant ride by the man from Ballymoney. But James Courtney and Philip McCallan are still together. Now has that little dice that McCallan has been having with Courtney robbed him of his third place because Gavin Lee would have clear roads. Courtney finishes and then Philip McCallan finishes. But Gavin Lee, yes, he snatched that third place. Dunlop has 18 wins, followed by Courtney, Lee and McCallum, Harris, McCulloch, Jackson, Pullen, Richard Coates there in ninth, and Mark Baldwin. So it's red hat time for the winner for Joey Dunlop. How did he feel about that race? It went very well, never must have beat. It's the best bet he had around here in years, I would say.